Good morning. That was pretty good. Let's try again. Good morning. Good morning. And you folks at UCSF Center, good morning. This is, wow, I heard them. Isn't that amazing? I have never seen a moment like this in healthcare. We look back on this moment, January 2014, as this cusp, this moment when all of a sudden everything's changing. If you really want to fail deeply and quickly, follow along. Now, maybe some of you maybe are not interested in failing. Maybe you're interested like me. Maybe you're passionately invested in making healthcare work better, faster, cheaper, for more people, better access, seriously less expensively. So I'm going to show you now the 22 ways to fail. First one is very simple. You can live in denial. It looks like this. No. You can ignore what's happening around you. You can let other groups chip away at your market and your ways of doing business. Number eight, insist that nothing you do is part of the waste in healthcare. This is a chart of national health spending as a percentage of GDP going back to 1960. Can you tell me which line is the U.S.? That seems kind of silly, doesn't it? Except pretty much anybody that I talk to that does some particular thing in healthcare that really doesn't need to be done insists that, no, no, this, uh, this is not part of waste in healthcare. A third of what we do is waste. Number 13, go line up cost analysis. You need to be able to, to know what the <laughs> actual cost you, the total cost of ownership of your product, the labor, the amortization, supplies, tracking and billing, the risk involved. You need to be able to tell the difference between unit costs and system costs. Another way to fail is to overlook process controls, to not pay attention to how you do things. You need to rebuild every process. Another thing we do is we're diminishing the trust factor. And we must master this if we're going to help all these populations do things differently. Trust comes from hearing something about how you need to change from someone who you believe knows what they're talking about, someone you believe is on your side, and someone who's taken the time to get to know who you are. Number 17 is to fail to target super users. 20% of the people generate 80% of the cost in healthcare. These are people with untreated chronic diseases. If we want to reduce costs, we go after them and see how we can help them. And number 22 is fail to take leadership. You have to ask yourself, what is my leadership DNA? Where is my heart in this? Where is my passion? Because healthcare is changing. We have this opportunity to make something really different. We're looking at healthcare that is built on early care, on smart care, on trusted care. Healthcare that is lean, that is effective, that is personal, that is available. This is my handbook for the revolutionary changing healthcare overnight, making it better, faster, cheaper for all of us. And it's time, the time to do it is right now. Thank you very much for your time with me this morning. It was a very powerful presentation. If you know where you can fail, then to me that's where you can succeed. One of the things I liked learning was also the, the right path that we're going on, which I, I felt very good about listening to him when he's talking about teams, when he's talking about the lean process. And those are things that we're already doing right now, which is, a, which is commendable to our organization that we're already jumping on top of these things. A, a very dynamic speaker with a great deal of information. Certainly we had the audience being becoming very engaged. Uh, and this is really a pathway to the future in medicine.